Hi, my name is Steve Wakefield and I'm one of the co-founders of the People's Plastic Revolution. One of the questions I'm often asked is what is the People's Plastic Revolution? What is it there for? Is it a campaign group? And I said, well, yes, it is a campaign group because of course we're going to campaign against the misuse of plastic. But it's also there to actually start to turn the tide against plastic waste. We have hundreds of thousands of tonnes of plastic waste in landfill. We have hundreds of thousands, in fact millions of tonnes of plastic in our oceans. All of which is causing, and has potential to cause a huge, huge disaster. Not only for marine life, for wildlife, but for ourselves as well. Because the more we look into plastic, the more we see that it's entering our food chain. And there are all kinds of implications about, uh, within that. Once it enters our food chain, it actually enters into uh, both the animals and the plants, into the actual uh, systems themselves, into our, into our blood, for example. So what we're here to do is to help turn the tide against plastic waste. So what we're going to do is we're going to introduce industrial plants that will take the plastic waste, convert that into useful products. We're going to put the, pla the plants, the industrial plants, at the source of where the plastic waste is. The technology that we're introducing is something that has existed for hundreds if not thousands of years. It's the technology that actually produced plastic in the first place. We're just reversing the process to be able to do that, to be able to recycle. It's not rocket science. So why us? Well, it is being done by some people, but not at the scale it needs to be done. And one of the main issues is corporates and governments, particularly corporates, look at a process and look at how they can help uh, make the maximum profit for their shareholders. We're looking at things differently. We're looking at things as to how we can maximise the output so that we can get more systems that will be able to reduce the waste. If it's not huge profits, that doesn't matter, as long as it's a profit that can help reduce the plastic waste. So we're looking at things entirely different. This is the revolution. It's not there for shareholders. What we're doing is we'll be introducing systems that will um, employ people um, in some of the poorest countries in the world. It will be giving output um, in those countries that will be able to, to um, help set up a local economy to strengthen a local economy. That's what we're doing. It's the, for the people we're doing this, not for the profit. So that is what this is all about. That's why we need your help. It is the people's plastic revolution because it's only us, everybody on the planet, getting together where we can actually do something about it. So what we want you to do is please look at our website, peoplesplasticrevolution.com. See where you can help. You can donate. Um, to this for to start this revolution give it a really good kickoff there are uh, t-shirts there are all kinds of, of, of things that you can buy the profits of which will go into buying these plants we've already done all our work on these plants we know what is needed we've already identified sites in Asia and in Europe that we want to start this process that's already done we need now need your help and in the very near future, we're going to have a crowdfunding uh, appeal. And the point of that is we don't want large corporates or wealthy individuals owning a huge part of this, um, of this operation. And the reason is, is we don't want to be able, under the pressure of actually having to uh, focus on the shareholders and their requirements, we want to focus on the problem that we're solving and how you can help us do that. So the shares will be you know, up from £10 to £1,000, uh, for $10 to a, to $1,000. You can buy shares in, in, um, in the People's Plastic Revolution. That will go to purchasing the plants. To give you an idea, 
one plant is likely to cost between 10 and 20 million dollars big difference I know but it depends on the amount of um, uh, of materials that we can produce at any one of these plants so our initial plants were aiming at the lower end of that but then we'll start to produce more that will start to turn the tide our dream let's get some ships a fleet of ships out there in the five garbage centers of our oceans sucking in all the plastic and producing whilst they're still in the ocean product that can then be sold into the open market to make profits to get more ships and more plants let's turn this tide we can do this as a people so let's do it thank you